My family is virtually living outside this time of year. So a big thank you to Ruggable for sponsoring today's video because in this episode, I'm gonna be helping my mom transform her patio space into something fun and vibrant for both my parents to relax and enjoy for the season ahead. Hey, good morning. We're about to do a little bit of thrift store shopping at Goodwill this morning. I have been doing a lot of spring gardening and home decorating type projects at home right now. And my mom is kind of getting a little spring bug too. So we're gonna be helping her in this video with one of her outdoor projects. So we're gonna bop into Goodwill, do a little bit of thrifting and see what kind of interior, tropical, outdoor entertaining pieces we might be able to find today. I'm pretty excited. I know they've got some great great home decor pieces this time of year and I'm hoping to find some colorful dishes that we can use on her spring like I'm giving away too much okay let's just go thrifting <laughs> aggressive for my treasures in Goodwill today. People were a little pushy. <laughs> um, I found some really fun things. Like I literally got a whole box of stuff. I think I got the entire table set up for under $30. So I'm really excited to get home and show you the goodies I got. Goodwill is such a fun spot to thrift shop for like seasonal dishes. I, I don't think I will ever pay full retail for seasonal things because everyone's always, you know, changing their mind or decor trends might change. So never, never, never invest too much money into these kinds of things because there's really no need to do that. This time of year is so fun for garage sales and hitting up the thrifts. So I found so many fun things. Oh, these, I didn't get a shot in the store. As I told you, it was kind of aggressive in there today. So I got the only three plates they had of these like really cool leaf ones. They're only three ninety a plate. I think that will be like perfect for her little lunch or dinner, whatever mom and I decide to do out on the patio because they're like a nice little appetizer size. So love those. And then this one's really cool. I think my mom's gonna like this. It looks like bamboo. It'll be like a really nice appetizer or like chip or veggie type of platter. Maybe we'll do something like that. I gotta take my jacket off. Do you remember I got this? Oops. Ooh. <laughs> I got this jacket at Goodwill last year, but I loved it because it had embroidered roses on it. So I've been wearing that a lot this spring. Okay, and then these glasses are really cool. I think that these are probably from the 60s. They look like very Mad Men. I thought those were super neat. $1.99 a glass. I did get four of them just in case my mom wants to keep them longer. She'll have like a nice set. This was really cool. My mom has always loved Mexican pottery. She and my dad went to Mexico back in the 70s and she has all these really cool photos. I'll have to ask my mom to see if she can dig a couple out for us, but she's all cute in her little crop top and like, I think mom is even wearing a bikini in some of them. She probably won't let me show those ones. Uh, but my mom came back with some cool Mexican pottery. And then also when I went to Mexico, I came back and brought my mom some. And then I found this plate at Goodwill, which I thought was really cool with the big pineapple on it. And it actually is 
a vintage one. So super pretty. I think this will be really nice because my mom and I like to eat sushi together and we also love our Thai spring rolls. I don't know, I don't put anything on this thing. And then, this was hard for me, a neutral thing. <laughs> So since all the dishes are really busy, I kind of wanted a little bit of a neutral backdrop for them to all sit on. So I grabbed this really long runner. It doesn't look very exciting, but I think like the texture will look nice and allow all these fun, vibrant dishes to pop. And it was only $3.99. Okay, I want to dig in my sideboard. I didn't see any napkins that really like spoke to me, but I think I might have some already in my stash that I've thrifted over the years. So I'm just, I might bring them with me to mom's house. My mom probably has like all, oh, remember all those paper napkins she got at the flea market? My mom bought like a thousand paper napkins. See, these were from our wedding. I mean, they might go, or is that like too elegant? Are these ones too much fun? No such thing. Might be a little, I feel like my mom's gonna like these though, but then these won't go with the Mexican plate, will they? Yeah, see, too busy. This one's fun, but I only have one. They were all different. Should I do those? Or they'll probably look dumb, huh? It's like too wild. No such thing. What else do we got in here? Too elegant, too wild. Shoot girl, be yourself. Okay, I don't know if I have any. Oh, mom's gonna have to bust out her paper napkins. I don't think any of mine like really go with our vibe. See, those don't really go, it's like autumnal. What if I bring these things and we just put like a paper napkin in them? That's more of my mom and I's style, especially when we're eating outside. We just eat with paper towels. <laughs> Keep it real, child. All right, let's bring these with me. I got them at a garage sale last year. I think they were like 10 cents a thing. I got them at that giant church rum sale. Do you remember all my junk? I always tell you stories like you're gonna remember all the stuff I get. <laughs> but I feel like these will look kind of cool, right? It kind of goes with that natural vibe. We'll just put a paper towel in it. All right, I, I did get one new thing this spring. Ooh, Target had these. I think they were like $4.99 for these grassy placemats and this kind of like peachy color I feel like is pretty cool. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna bring this with me. I don't know if I'll let my mom keep it. We're just gonna use it for the day. But I think this will pull out like the peachy tone, see? With our little look. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look cute. Or you could use this like that. Ooh, look how fun that is. So I just called my mom to tell her about all this stuff I just got her and it went to voicemail and then I looked on my phone and you know how when you're on Facebook, you can see when other people are online where it's like active, 15 minutes go active right now. Mom is active on Facebook and she just ignored my call, rude. <laughs> We're back at mom's house today and we're gonna work on a fun patio project. She's got this great patio out here and her beautiful pergola. And I thought, you know what? Let's make her like a really cool entertaining space for mom to like relax and come out here, have a glass of wine, have dinner. So we're gonna kind of beautify it up a little bit here. We got a gorgeous rug. We have an indoor outdoor rug we're gonna put down. Yeah. Patio furniture, flowers gonna be fun and yep. our goodwill finds did i show you those yep we got goodwill <laughs> finds and we're gonna set it all up and then we'll show you what the before looks like nothing, nothing on there <laughs> two flower pots or three flower pots and nothing else and my pergola it's kind of not a good summer day because it's on 45 degrees but yeah it's gonna we're, be seven we're, we're kind of excited <laughs> we both had tank tops when we started and now we're like Ooh. <laughs> now we're in sweatshirts again <laughs> all right so this is the area that we're going to be decorating today uh, my mom just cleaned off the patio and everything so it's all nice and fresh so we're going to do a little bit of rearranging with her pots lay out the rug do patio furniture and we can get ready to relax out here but it's such an awesome space my mom has her lilacs, roses. You can see where I get my green thumb out here. She's so excited. Like she already has the box open over there. She's been waiting. Are you coming down yet? Are you coming down to help me? <laughs> okay, so I've done this once before and I have a little method to rolling this out, mom. Okay. Ooh, you're gonna like this. Yeah, I love, jung I love cool. jungle things as you all know. <laughs> That's gonna look rad, Mom. Oh, you just undo that? Yeah, so. Yeah, I've done this once before and I learned a good method to rolling out the ruggables, ruggable rugs. Ooh, you're gonna love that print. 
That's cool. What do you think, Sherman? Cool. It's super cool, huh? Oh, mommy's already sitting on it. <laughs> Marie, he likes it. <laughs> Mom, this print is awesome. Look at that. It's super cool. Inside this in. This looks then like we, your plant in your house, Mom. How do you then? You roll it up and flip it over? Yeah, so we first we got to get um, this rolled up with the design side so in. So we'll do it out that way. So help me fold this out, okay. Mom, and then we'll roll it. Slight intermission, um, my live out in the country and there's white clover and fescue blooming right now so we had to stop so i could blow off the deck again because it, there's pollen all over everywhere and leaves <laughs> so if you hear a sniffling today it's because we have allergies allergies <laughs> this is allergy season here yeah so intermission but we're back on it again making beautified patio You just pray when you get to the end, it looks good. <laughs> we did it. We did it. That's as easy, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, that print's awesome, Mom. Okay, so we'll just do a quick vacuum because we got blow some stuff on it. Oh, yeah, I need to blow it real quick. Huh? Yeah, and you just smooth it out with your hands like that. Then we'll put that tile on the end. The that plant. looks so cool. Don't you love this print? I love this print. That's super cool, Mom. So don't forget, like this, you can wash because I have these at my house. This this will peel off of the pad itself, and you can just put it in your washing machine. You just hang it to dry. Wow, that's great. Yeah, super awesome. So this would be perfect for outside and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my mom had these tiles left from uh, the kitchen when it was tiled, so she's gonna put her big pots on top of it. I can, oh, you already got it. We should have done this at the beginning of spring, huh? Seriously, yeah. keep your patio clean. That way my dirt from my pots won't get on the little carpet. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Now well, we'll, we're gonna start rearranging furniture. Yeah. You know how uh, my mom and I, like when we go through stuff at home, we give each other things. We're like, here's this thing, don't get rid of it. So Pete's mom gave <laughs> us some patio furniture and it's literally the furniture we, we sat in for our wedding and we like, took our wedding pictures on the patio furniture and now my mom is gonna have it on her patio. <laughs> yeah. So we, we recycle within the family. <laughs> we do, yeah. yeah. It's like we already bought it once, so might as well just pass yeah. it around. So um, yeah, we'll bring you out here, but mom just gave it a quick uh, spray paint yesterday. And so it looks like new now and this furniture is like 13 years old. Yeah. So looks good. All right, so here's the furniture. My mom got it all spray painted. Hang on, mom, I'm gonna help you with that. It's light. But, it's oh, light. It's light. Looks like new now. She put a like nice coat. It's kind of like a chocolatey gray. Yeah. Dude, you're on a roll. You're like super serious about decorating. This today. is called espresso. Oh. There's my two kids. <laughs> this is my little brother. He's not very little anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of grew. He was supposed to be under 15 pounds, but he's almost 30. Yeah. <laughs> he's a growing boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's big boned. <laughs> Enjoying the new patio and my new ruggable. Look at that. Jungle print, my favorite. This has to be one of my very favorite mini makeovers. It's pretty amazing how some fresh flowers, patio furniture, and a really cool rug from Ruggable can totally transform the space. My mom loves this pattern, and I was letting her know since the designs are totally interchangeable, she could actually use this in her living room as well. It'll totally go with her style. And if you wanna check it out, you can visit the link in my description box and use code VINTAGEBOMBSHELL10 for 10% off. Sit like a lady. <laughs> You're so funny. 
<laughs> I'm glad you brought me some water. I was thirsty. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to cheers with someone who's left-handed. <laughs> Pete always makes me sit on the opposite uh -oh. side of him. Want That's so change? funny. Are no, we... it's okay. We can just bash each other's knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I have a beautiful new patio for summer. I'm so excited. Yeah. And you look super cute today. Yeah, I got... Yeah. <laughs> you said, yeah. Yeah. I know, you look adorable. Did you see that my mom's like into blue and white now? Look. Blue and white. Blue, blue and, and white. white. Yeah, I, my kid influences me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I did, huh? Yeah, she did. <laughs> so I think everyone should vote below which is the next room that I need to help mom with in her house. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm in for it. <laughs> I want you to do the living room because we were actually talking about painting her living room like a really pretty sage green. That's also a color like you love too. Like we're both I like into sage that. green and we have that, um, what was that other green in my kitchen? That's a hunter green, isn't it? What color was yeah, that? We, with the crane mural, we did like a um, like a jungly kind a of jungly green. green. So we're gonna kind of continue that. And I was telling mom this ruggable rug. She it's indoor and outdoor. outdoor. So after summer, I'm gonna move it indoors yeah. into my living room, and then I can. That we're hoping that we can get my living room painted maybe a really soft, not bold like the kitchen, mm -hmm. a softer green, and move this into the living room. And now all of a sudden, how it always happens. You have to have a new couch. Yep. <laughs> but I don't, I'll get rid of the couch, but I think I can still keep my love seat and then just add a chair to it. Mom, it looks like a big potato. I don't like it. I know, but your dad <laughs> likes potatoes. <laughs> We're about to sit down to our sushi and would we get barbecue pork dinner? Look at my dad. He even put on a Hawaiian shirt for summer here behind us. He's so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I want to point out my. <laughs> Cheater sushi holders are for uh, chopsticks. These were called like when you have a little kid, you get like baby spoons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, don't open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> You're <laughs> you like, drooling. Or hey, is I'm there? waiting. Mom and I were at the sushi go around. She busted these out of her purse. She was Perfect. so proud. I we're... was so proud I got these. I got these at World Imports. <laughs> and they're like for little kids. But they're perfect for me because I can't hold my finger right to grip. Yeah. They're like little kids. They come in different styles, but flamingos was the one I liked. Yeah, that's very cute. And look at her dishes. Mom really liked the um, tropical plates they found. Yeah. And then these ones I thrifted on Poshmark. I got oh. those for you for at Christmas time. That had a little goldfish inside. Yeah, those are so cute. <laughs> And then the rock glasses, those are really cool. Yeah. On our cool platter. I told you my mom had paper napkins. I always <laughs> I bought those last year and I bought enough for a, a for everybody. Two years. I for think. the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Got our cool platter here. My mom's very good at her food presentation. Notice how she lines up the strawberries, all of her condiments. We got some yummy sushi over here. Don't worry everyone, we have lots more where that came from. Barbecue for. pork. Yeah, that's cool. This looks so cute how it all came together. It's like all thrifted tabletop here. Yeah, this is all thrifted. Super cute. And look how cute dad looks in his Hawaiian shirt. It's so <laughs> all right, I'm back home now and the weather is so nice. I've been spending a lot of time on my own patio here and I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show you my mom and I's styles and just how different we really are if you didn't realize that already. <laughs> But I'm getting out some of my garage sale things and I was just kind of having fun seeing how because I've been collecting them all year long with all of these like thoughts in mind of how I want to decorate and set up little table scenes and stuff. So I thought it'd be kind of fun like if I got out some of my things and we could see how they all kind of come together today. And I wanted to tell you I'm really excited for this year's garden tour because lots of my flowers are popping up this year and I've added some new varieties here into our cottage garden. But we're just a few weeks away from all of these flowers opening up but it's going to be worth the wait I promise. Do you remember? remember this beautiful fringy tablecloth thing. I don't think it's a like, yeah, it's, oh no. <gasps> I'm gonna have to wash this before I show you the other side. <laughs> well, here we go anyways. I think my table got marks on it. Hopefully some OxyClean can take that out. Well, since you're here, if you got any tips for me on how you like to clean your vintage linens, please let me know. I like to do OxyClean and then I usually just hang dry it, but if you know any little tricks for getting out, marks like this. I can't believe that happened. 
Oh my goodness, that was perfect before I got to it. <laughs> Anyhow, I just envisioned this out here on the garden table. Of course, you wouldn't want to keep this outside all throughout the night and stuff because of the dampness factor, but I just thought it'd be really beautiful. I love this kind of color palette and it's a really small uh, tablecloth here. So I just think it'll be a fun little pop of color. Plus look at the coral. The coral color matches the chairs perfect. I love it when that happens. So this was a fun idea. My mom, this is like my mom's invention. <laughs> so she went to Walmart and she got all of these solar lights and like the little stem broke off of the light. And she was like, oh man, what do I do with this thing? And I have an abundance of candle holders, which all of you know. And so my mom's like, give me a couple of your candlestick holders. And so we made little solar chandeliers out here. But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape off this little solar bit here with like painter's tape. And then I'm just gonna spray these the chrome color to kind of match it because the black here doesn't really match you know of course but i thought that was just really fun because it's it's nice to look out here at night see a little glow or if you want to sit out here and have a drink or something uh, you don't have to worry about any fire danger so that's a good thing I'm very much loving the cottage core aesthetic, <laughs> as you can tell. It's funny that this has become a trend because these are always things that I've loved as like floral and antiques and lace and all those things. And now it's become the new trend of the season, which is hilarious, but look at me. Been doing it for years, girl. <laughs> okay, so I always use these uh, placemats here in the summertime. They're just kind of nice as a little backdrop. They're pretty and they're casual, let your dishes pop. And then I'm, planning hopefully when my husband comes home he'll want to go to the farmer's market tonight we can go get some tacos and i just been getting out my cabbage plates this summer because i mean look how adorable these are what's funny is these have become a neutral for me for some reason you wouldn't think such a quirky like busy dish would become a neutral but when you put it you know with softer color palette like this and it kind of pulls out more of like a botanical look it's been so perfect for the garden. They're just so cute and fun. So I had these like saved for special occasion stuff, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy the stuff that I have and not like keep it in the cupboard all year and use it once a year, you know? I also got these adorable like milk glass pink glasses from Longaberger and these are so perfect because they're stemless and they're like this gorgeous soft pink pastel so cute for spring and summer and like how perfect with the tablecloth and little cabbage dishes i just love this and these are our wedding napkins oh now i'm hungry for tacos i just have to run back in the house i can't believe i forgot flowers um these were from a flower delivery because like i said ours aren't blooming just yet but i'm hoping to have free flowers from the garden super soon so let's pop these in the center So this wasn't a full garden tablescape video, but I just wanted to have fun, sit out here this week. I honestly, I'm like pretty tired because I've been doing a ton of weeding and yard work. I looked like a hot mess this morning and I was just like, I need to hop in the shower, put my hair in a bun, throw some earrings on, <laughs> try to look presentable. But yeah, it's just been nice spending time outside here in the garden for me. This has always been a really, really a place of peace and just somewhere I like to come out in the mornings when it's quiet, there's not a lot of cars driving around and all of the bird life is just going berserk out here. Like it really does sound like a rainforest here in the mornings and it just gets me excited for spring and summertime. And I don't know, it's just like, like I was telling you, it's my place of peace. It's nice to not have a screen in front of me or hear a television or hear the news and just kind of be somewhere quiet, you know, just in peace and nature and in my own thoughts and checking on my bulbs and flowers because they're literally changing every single day and there's something so exciting to see 
something that you've been working on all year, like come to life literally before your eyes. And with a garden, it just gets better each year. You know, the plants get fuller and thicker and the roses will give off more and more blooms. So it's it's really a rewarding hobby, if you will. But I don't even want to say it's a hobby because I feel like hobbies are things that sometimes people get tired of. But for me, I guess gardening's kind of become a lifestyle. It's something that I, I love. It's part of my, especially my everyday life and come the spring and summer months. And it's something that you should dabble into if you're curious about it. You know, there's nothing intimidating about it at all. I basically just kind of research what kind of sunlight plants like and the zone that I live in. And you just kind of start from there. Like I said, yeah, it's not intimidating. You just gotta, gotta go for these things. It's the most rewarding thing. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> You're gonna be tired at the end of the day from all of the weeding, but um, it's so satisfying. And I promise you, if you're finding yourself like anxious and stressed out these days, which I know, I know a lot of us are, um, just being outside and being in the flowers and weeds, <laughs> it's really a calming space. So anyhow, I just wanted to share my, my my place of peace with you um, and also just wish you a happy spring. I hope you had fun in this video and I'll see you in the next one.